10 News starts right now. And right now, 530, we're speaking with a grieving father searching for answers in the murder of his son. His son was shot and killed in Deerfield Beach. And authorities have yet to make an arrest in the case. A local Roy Ramos is live with the family's plea for help tonight. Christian Louis, and when I spoke with that father, he tells me he knows his son is not perfect. In fact, about six months ago, that son moved out of his father's home after he refused to follow his rules. He says while he still doesn't know what his son was doing right here at this community, he says whatever it was, he did not deserve to have his life taken. It hurts, it hurts. Every time I talk about him, every time I remember him, every time I realize I'm not going to see my son anymore, it hurts. Tears welled up in the eyes of Joseph Fonseca, and you could hear the pain in his voice as he described the anguish he and his family have been going through after losing their 19-year-old son, Brian Fonseca. He was a fun, nice, happy kid. He was the party of the house. But it was in early January, the fun-loving teen they knew found himself in this rented Mercedes behind the community of the Heritage Condominiums off Northwest 9th Avenue and 43rd Street. It was around 7 on a Friday night when investigators said two men approached and shot the victim while he sat in the driver's seat. When he got there, two guys approached him. One spoke to him between one and two minutes and took the gun and shot him in the neck. Brian lost control of the car and crashed into this building. This picture shows him still behind the wheel with the airbag deployed moments after he was shot. And he was in coma for two weeks. And as uh, soon as he passed away, he has a brain dead. While it has now been more than three weeks since the teen who was a son and a younger brother was murdered, it is this father with a message for his son's killers who remain on the loose. Somebody going to find out who you guys are. And uh, if you regret what you did, turn yourself in because one day you're going to find out who are those guys and they're going to catch them. And we have learned that the Broward Sheriff's Office has obtained video that captured this entire incident. However, they tell us that right now they are not releasing that video because it is still part of their investigation. Meanwhile, if you have any information that can help them, you are urged to contact Broward Crime Stoppers. That number, 954-493-TIPS. For now in Deerfield Beach, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Hopefully somebody comes forward, right? Thank you, Roy.